All right, ladies and gentlemen, season 17 slash season of The Haunted has been out now for roughly about a month, and with the new season came a bunch of pretty insane weapons. Like, I just got to take a second to give the weapons team over Bungie a round of applause because there are actually so many weapons that are worth grinding out this season. So in this video, we're going to be going over the top must-have weapons that came out this season and their god rolls. Seriously, these weapons have become meta and are definitely worth getting. Now, you all know the drill if you're new and only if you enjoy my videos or find them useful, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But before we get started, a big thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Let me ask you some questions. Are you tired of spending hours per day cooking? Maybe you try to get around this by getting some quick and easy, unhealthy fast food. Or do you meal prep, which still takes hours and it's just super messy? Well, that's where Factor comes in. With Factor, you get fresh, ready made meals delivered right to your doorstep. They are never frozen, and Factor has a wide variety of meals to choose from, like keto, calorie smart, chef's favorites, vegan, and vegetarian. No more prepping and no more mess as Factor meals arrive pre prepared and ready to eat. No more takeout because Factor chefs take the guesswork out of eating well, so you never have to opt for something that isn't good for you. And no more spending hours cooking as factor cuts out stressful meal planning and are ready to eat in just minutes literally minutes it's so easy a toddler could do it you know what let me show you just how easy it is step one pick your meal step two stab the film like you're a six-year-old trying to open up a lunchable step three heat it up in the microwave step four let it cool and eat. I've personally been using Factor, the calorie smart option, as it fits right into my dieting slash deficit macros. I'm down about 30 pounds since the start of April, and with how easy it is eating with Factor, I plan to keep using their meals. Like, seriously, their meals are actually so good. I didn't think they were going to be, but they actually are. But hey, you can try out Factor for yourself, and your boy got you all with that discount. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGMIFI120 for $120 off. Now, the order of which I'm going to be going through these weapons isn't like a worst to best, but more of a least best to best. Every weapon on this list is amazing. Just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. So starting us off, we have Lingering Dread. Lingering Dread is a lightweight frame stasis grenade launcher that is acquired via the new duality dungeon loot pool per encounter on screen now so you know where to get it. When I first tried Lingering Dread, I didn't think much of it until I got to try its god roll. This weapon actually has two god rolls in my opinion. The first and definitely not as fun is Spike Nades in column 2, Auto Loading in column 3, and Vorpal in column 4. I say it's not as fun because there's other GLs in the game that can roll these perks. But if you're looking for a stasis GL for something like boss damage with something like Font of Might, then this roll is right up your alley. Now the other and much more fun roll is Blinding Nades in column 2, Auto Loading or Ambitious Assassin in column 3, and and chill clip in column four blinding nades plus chill clip yeah it becomes an absolute machine for group control zone control helps with survivability and harder content the list just goes on and on lingering dread is such a good weapon and because it's stasis it sits in the kinetic slot so you can still use your energy primary that fits into whatever subclass build you got going on like the callus mini tool for solar funnel web for void and whatever is going to be the equivalent for arc 3.0 next up on the list we have unforgiven unforgiven is a 750 rpm aggressive frame void smg that just like our last entry is acquired via the duality dungeon now when it comes to the god roll for this weapon well it has quite a few and i've already made a full-on dedicated video for this weapon but a tldr demo in column three with either adrenaline junkie golden tricorn or repulsors brace in column four then the other roll feeding frenzy in column three with either frenzy or rampage in column four I called this weapon the new funnel web and I still stand by that. It has a much better perk selection, can be target farmed, better recoil for people on controller. It's just great. Also, not to mention its origin perk, which speeds up reload as you take damage, that being bitter spike. All around a great weapon. And once we have all our subclasses updated and people start settling on a main one to use for their playstyle, I can definitely see this being the go to weapon for anyone on a void build. Like I said, I have an entire video on this weapon. So if you want a more in depth look, you can check that out now for our third weapon on the list riptide riptide is a rapid fire frame stasis fusion rifle that is a random drop from the crucible just like the last weapon i have made a full in-depth guide on this weapon link below for the god roll well you have a bunch of options but the real reason you want this weapon is because of a certain role that you can only get on this weapon that role being auto loading in column three and chill clip in column four not only is riptide the only rapid fire frame aka the most popular 
particular stasis fusion, it is also the only stasis fusion to roll auto loading and chill clip. Riptide with this roll is a group clearing machine. And because it's a fusion, it's also very good at single target damage. This weapon has a lot of overlap with lingering dread, like all the benefits that I mentioned with that weapon, such as you being able to still run whatever energy primary you want, etc., etc. The only problem with Riptide is it requires you to play Crucible, which you won't have to play a lot of to get one because Riptide drops so often, but the perk pool is massive. But if you can get your hands on the God Roll, it's actually an insane weapon and very, very versatile. Now, making its way in at our second to last spot, we have none other than the Solar Funnel Web itself, Callus's Callus Mini Callus's Mini Tool. This weapon probably doesn't need an introduction, as it's what almost everyone this season is using. It's a 900 RPM Solar SMG that is part of the returning opulent weapons for season 17. God Roll is Unrelenting Threat or Grave Robber in column three and Incandescent in column four. I'm going to be honest, this weapon isn't like super crazy on its own. It just has Incandescent, which is super crazy. Essentially, if you're running any form of a Solar 3.0 build, just slap on this. God roll and bam your build just got like twice as good if not like three times as good it's great for ad clear and group clear the two most important roles for a primary and it's craftable so you don't have to grind out for the perfect roll well you still have to grind to get the red borders to get it but once that's done you can just craft the perfect roll like i said with unforgiven that being that it's the best primary for void builds callus's mini tool with incandescent is the same but for solar builds seriously if you haven't gotten this weapon yet i highly recommend you do and finally at the number one spot it's literally the most busted weapon in the game right now it's a hundred percent gonna catch a nerf just because of how over OP it is storm chaser if you somehow haven't heard of this absolute beast of a weapon it's an aggressive frame so like a three round burst arc linear fusion rifle that is acquired from the dungeon just farm second encounter if you want the best shot at getting one now for the god roll and i will be going over every column for column one you want arrowhead break this is going to increase your recoil direction and handling because this is a three round burst you want those bursts to land and with arrowhead it literally gives the weapon perfect 100 vertical recoil and handling as well so you can like swap faster for like you know boss damage phases for column two ionized battery and before you say but enhanced also increases its mag but doesn't affect reload no no enhanced doesn't increase the mag it's a lie and you want to increase the mag size so ionized is what you're going to want to go with next up column three where you have some very enticing perks but the number one pick here is clown cartridge with ionized in column two and clown in this column you can get up to nine shots in a single mag even with the decreased reload speed from ionize taking something like auto loading or rapid hit is just going to perform worse than clown like even with the increased reload speed from rapid hit or potentially putting it away and letting it auto load itself it's just faster to reload and have the potential to get nine shots in a mag and finally column four where depending on what type of player you are you have two options technically three but you know it's two different types of players if you're playing with other players and can be around them during boss damage phase or whatever you're damaging firing line if completely solo or not around your teammates frenzy slash vorpal firing line is a 20 percent precision damage increase but only when you're within close proximity of two or more players then for vorpal slash frenzy the reason i give the option is because some people just don't like frenzy in the whole activation thing frenzy is a 15 percent damage buff whereas vorpal is 10 so yes frenzy is higher but vorpal is always active whereas frenzy you have to be in combat and sometimes i swear it just doesn't proc so it's up to you for whichever one you want to take but at the end of the day whichever one you do take this weapon is still going to out dps every other weapon in the game and that includes exotics like storm chasers base damage is 40 percent higher or around 40 percent higher than every other linear it's like imagine if we would have had this with like particle deconstruction or if particle deconstruction comes back and this doesn't get nerfed my god it puts bosses to sleep you will one phase so many encounters that it's not even funny seriously get this weapon if it's the only thing you do this season just get on play the duality dungeon get to second encounter far just just get this weapon please but those are the top must-have god roll weapons that were introduced this season let me know down below if there's a weapon that you think i missed and is worth getting this season also let me know if you have any of the god rolls on this list i'm still missing that storm chaser roll so if you got that i'm big jealous but with all that being said feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you all in the next one peace